Neiman Marcus's future is looking inauspicious. The Beekman boys turn a tribute propitious. And Christine and Ben offer something delicious. I'm Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, and What's Up in Makeup starts now. Welcome to What's Up in Makeup for April 26, 2020. Let's go ahead and get started with our top industry news. Let's start this episode by saying, Hello everyone, Christine and Ben from Simply Nail Logical have done a nice thing and we are so excited to tell you about it. During this unsettling time, they've decided to show the support for their community and for frontline healthcare workers in Ottawa by setting up $3,000 tabs at three local restaurants so that doctors, nurses, paramedics, and medical support staff can get a delicious and nutritious meal paid for by Simply. The restaurants in Ottawa are Pure Kitchen Ottawa, which is a vegetarian and vegan restaurant, Time and Again, which specializes in takeaway meals, and Burgers and Fries Forever, which is pretty much self-explanatory. We join Ben and Christine in urging you to support your own local restaurants during these uncertain times. The current world situation has forced Neiman Marcus to close all 43 of their locations, about two dozen last call stores, and two Bergdorf Goodman locations located in New York. This is in preparation for filing for bankruptcy protection. The company is in the final stages of negotiating a loan with creditors for hundreds of millions of dollars, which would help to sustain some operations during the bankruptcy. It has furloughed many of their 14,000 employees. As well, Neiman Marcus has been trying to to avoid bankruptcy for the last couple of years by pushing out due dates on financial obligations in 2019 to try to restructure. Their credit rating has been lowered into junk territory. The company has been struggling to compete with discount retail chains and online shopping, with the current world situation resulting in lost sales. The bankruptcy filing could be done in the next couple of days. When the folks at Beekman 1802 in Sharon Springs, New York briefly changed to a replica of the Schitt's Creek Rose Apothecary, it was meant to simply celebrate a show that they loved in its final season. Little did they know the impact the change would have on their neighbors. Quote, it was wonderful to see so many people filling the streets of our sleepy, off-season little town, said Beekman boys Dr. Brent Ridge and Josh Kilmer Purcell on their Instagram. Quote, hotel rooms normally empty were filled. Part-time restaurants added seating and even opened on days they were traditionally closed. One shop on Main Street reported that they did more revenue in that month than the same month over the past seven years combined. It was a blessing and now that Main Street businesses across America are closed, we realize just how much so to have had that economic cushion turned out to be a life raft. Brent said, says, quote, it was a gift at the time for sure. So many people from all over the country were coming to visit and every shop on Main Street was seeing a lift in their business, which is wonderful. Now that the world has changed, it turned out to be an even greater blessing for all of them to have had that extra flow of tourism and revenue is really going to help get them through these lean times. Many visitors also engaged in cosplay of their favorite characters. Josh says, quote, entire families drove from all over and came into the mercantile and started acting out scenes from the show. The owners are originally from Manhattan and they were drawn to the show because of the parallels between the show and their own lives. Both lost their jobs in 2008 due to the financial crisis. Then they turned their home and goats into a business by selling goat milk soap and gourmet cheese. Now they're regulars on HSN. The Beekman 1802 retail space is currently closed, but they are still selling products online with employees working remotely. Remotely. They also have a live baby goat cam since visitors are not able to see the goats in person. There are currently no new collaborations in the works that we know of, but when one appears, we will have it here. Beauty Independent recently asked 15 brand founders and executives this question. What do you think the long-term impacts of the pandemic will be on the beauty industry? It certainly changed how business is conducted, with many saying that consumers are venturing into online shopping in order to get products. This is a trend that is very likely to continue as shoppers grow more accustomed to not visiting a store to make purchases. Some also commented on how people are much more interested in their health and are seeking out products based on the benefit of their ingredients. Self-care was also mentioned as many people have been unable 
able to go to a salon or spa, so they're doing their own manicures and pedicures and their own hair color in an effort to manage their mental and emotional well-being. The brands also stated that consumers may change their purchasing habits even after stores are open. Products may become less available due to difficulty in getting sourced ingredients, delays in the supply chain, and availability of packaging materials. It's also expected that consumers may simply choose to not splurge on products like they once did. They speculate that higher hygiene standards must be adopted to protect, protect consumers from airborne particles and cross-contamination. Hands and brushes must also be sanitized before any makeup application. Lastly, the brands say there may be fewer jobs for those in the beauty industry once businesses start reopening. Beauty pros and retail outlets of all sorts will need to look at new ways to attract consumer attention in order to continue once the world returns to business as usual. Social lockdowns all too often trap abusers and their victims in a pressure cooker atmosphere. It can be difficult for a victim to notify the authorities that they are in danger. Christina Pasco, a student, may have developed a solution. She's created a fictional skincare business called Ruminaki e Bratki and developed a false online presence that victims of DV can contact to get help without the abusers finding out. Victims of physical or psychological abuse can visit the fake brand's Facebook page seeking information on the non-existent products or contact them at ruminakiebratki at gmail.com. This causes the operators to start checking on the customer's well-being. Quote, if you place an order and give your address, we'll call the police. Pasco said, noting that domestic violence has increased by 40% during quarantine. Keeping the facade up are pictures of various branded creams and balms the fake shop pretends to sell. Pasco also replies to the comments, which are sometimes cryptically worded to reassure the posters. Her Facebook page has already attracted thousands of followers and over 40 people have received help. It started with a text for help from a friend. Vox editor Julia Rubin got a message in mid-March from a friend who works in a hospital talking about how the masks were ruining her skin and asking if Julia knew of a soothing product, preferably at a discount. Julia shared a screenshot of the text with Cheryl Wishover, a New York beauty reporter who said, quote, I thought about it for five minutes and was like, yes. The text became a tweet from Cheryl, quote, beauty editors and brands. I've heard from hospital staff that their faces are breaking out, skin's a mess from wearing masks, trying to organize some donations, acne products, cleansers, gentle moisturizers, balms. It's small, but something we can do right now. And then the tweet turned into action. Donate Beauty was created and its founding four-person team of industry professionals came together alongside a team of volunteers to link brands, editors, and healthcare workers. As of April 10th, over 140,000 beauty products had been donated to 300,000 employees at over 400 hospitals. Hand cream, lip balm, and moisturizers are just some of the most requested items. Pleas for cleanser, hair care, and body wash have also been made by employees who need to stay at the hospital overnight and are showering there. Cheryl started out as a nurse before entering the beauty industry. She understands what today's healthcare workers are dealing with. What I can tell you about PPE is I've worn it. It is not comfortable to wear just for a couple of hours. To wear the level of PPE that these healthcare workers have to is beyond anything I have ever experienced. I can't imagine how uncomfortable it is on every level. The emails and pictures and messages we've been getting have been horrendous. Face indentation, breakouts, and cracking skin, and it hurts. But she's not the only one helping. Jennifer Bartle, senior fashion editor at Shape, had brands reaching out to her with care package offers. Quote, after receiving a few, I started to feel uncomfortable that I was the one being pampered while the essential workers, particularly healthcare, were fighting on the front lines. After speaking with these medical professionals, she learned that there was a real need for new footwear. Being on their feet for hours was causing back pain and having to disinfect their footwear was causing the shoes to break down faster. Jennifer says, quote, it became clear that providing new supportive footwear was a simple way to let them know that we were appreciative for all that they are doing. She began to contact brands with the goal of receiving 50 pairs of shoes. That goal was filled quickly with 400 pairs donated by Adidas, North Face, Skechers, Under Armour, and others. She's hoping to coordinate 1,000 donations donations by the end of April and has now named her initiative Sneakers for Heroes. This is just the beginning for these organizations. Follow them both on Instagram. 
My Kire by KO USA recently launched a collection of products that focused on the credo of caring for ourselves, our society, and the world around us that makes life more beautiful. Karen Frank, president of KO USA, says, quote, in Japan, Kire has many meanings. It can describe beauty and cleanliness, as well as simplicity, balance, and sustainability. The line is being hailed as innovative, not only for the 95% biodegradable, vegan-friendly, plant-based formulas, but also for its packaging. The bottles will contain 50% less plastic and will gain their stand-up rigidity through an air fill system. They also have a watertight design that prevents contamination and allows the consumer to get nearly every drop of product. KO USA has also partnered with TerraCycle so consumers can recycle the packaging and the pump after they're done. Phase one of this launch will include nourishing shampoo, conditioner, and hand wash, each featuring traditional authentic Japanese ingredients such as yuzu fruit, rice water, and Japanese tsubaki flour. KO USA is planning for an expansion to the My Kire line later this year and will continue to look to new formulas and packaging to allow their customers to live a more Kire life. Now let's go ahead and spring up and check out the latest weekly product report to see what was released this week. Aether Beauty's Joshua Tree Desert Matte Eyeshadow Palette is at Sephora with 12 shades and an ultra matte finish inspired by Joshua Tree National Park. $58. Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Spring Lip Gloss Set has four new nude shades with a lacquer or sparkle finish, $28. Buxom Mini Top It Off Plumping Lip Gloss Set offers up four shades of shimmery or glassy smooth color with that tingle, $25. And from Hourglass, Veil Eye Primer creates an even canvas and nourishes with vitamin C and E. $28. Veil Setting Spray is a water-resistant mist that hydrates and sets for $48. From YSL Rouge Pro Couture, Lipstick Love Collector's Edition is very pop art and comes in four shades for $38. Rouge Volup Shine Lipstick Love Collector's Edition has equally collectible packaging in four shades for $38 as well. The Max Selena Lorena Collection to celebrate 25 years of Selena's legacy has come to Ulta. Lipstick in four rich shades and four textures, $20. Liquid Lip color has a liquid suede finish and holographic silver packaging in three shades. $23 lip glass comes in three rich shades for $18.50. Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighter is a rich gold pearlescent creamy powder formula, $37. Eyeshadow Times 8, Misianto Muy Excited has a color wave inspired by Selena's legendary blinged out bustier, $35. From the Tarte Sugar Rush line, Summer Playlist Eye and Cheek Palette has five creamy clay-infused shades in a range of sweet colors for $17. Urban Decay offers up a Vice Lip Chemistry Lip Stain Trio just for Mother's Day with nudes, low-key, heavy, and physique, $49. From Florence by Mills, Bouncy Cloud Highlighter gives you a creamy glow in three shades for $16. Awake Beauty's All Day All Night Lip Mask Duo offers up a concentrated oil blend of olive, argan, rosehip, and raspberry seed for $15. From ColourPop this week, Lux Gloss is formulated with antioxidant rich black rose, poppy seed, and Madagascar vanilla in four shades for $8. Celestial Blush is soft and buildable for a natural flush in two shades for $10. And two nine pan eyeshadow palettes have arrived. The All Things Equinox palette with icy pastels and shades of mauve or the She's Got Solstice palette in metallics, pinks, and browns, $14 each. On the higher ends of things this week at the Sicily Paris website, Black Rose Eye Contour Fluid makes dark circles appear less visible and puffiness reduced, they say, but it is $120. Self-tanning hydrating body skincare offers a natural and uniform tan for $105. Phyto Hydra Tint gives gives the effectiveness of daily skincare with a veil of color to its all-in-one formula of plant-based extracts in three shades for $96. And because we needed just one more really high-end item, Sicily's Phyto Blanc Le Concentrate Pure Activating Serum claims to provide an intense brightening effect on the face due to the Egyptian Mirobolan extract. I don't know if I said that right or not. And it is, how much do you think it is? Any guesses? $304, but all items on the Sicily website we've talked about are currently at a friends and family discount of 20% off. So at least there's that. On the drugstore side of things this week from Essence's Glow My Mind Collection Baked Highlighter Palette has three high pigmented shades, $9.99. Crystal Glow Drops give the skin a glow from within, $4.99. Glow Roller lets you apply a bright shimmer of gold on your face and body in seconds. That's also $4.99. Highlighter Brush has dense short bristles for the cheeks, forehead, or bridge of the nose, 
also $4.99, and the Crystal Sponge Set Blends Liquid Cream or Powder, it's $3.99. From NYX's Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil line, we have the Revitalize and Set Multitasking Spray. It also contains caffeine for an uplifting burst of hydration, $10. SPF 30 Daily Moisturizing Primer has you covered against damaging indoor and outdoor light and is colorless, it is $17. This week, from Catrice, we have the Hydro Plumping Serum. It claims to be the perfect base for all makeup looks and it's $10. Glow Booster Serum is enriched with vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin B3, plus pineapple fruit extract, also for $10. Balance Hydra Spray is infused with 3% rose water, watermelon extract, and skin soothing panthenol, $8. And we know you've been waiting for it. It's revolution. The second round of the Roxaurus collection is now here with some serious color for spring. Roxaurus Ride or Die lip collection includes three wearable shades from a light creamy nude to a matte brown and a matte pink. $15. Roxasaurus Blush Burst Face Palette features eight pans of blusher shades ranging from light peaches and pinks to deep oranges and reds with all skin tones in mind. It's $15 as well. We've heard of Netflix and chill, but by show of hands, who replaces Netflix with QVC? Anybody? especially with that $3.50 shipping, right? Bobbi Brown Prep and Perfect Customizable Set is a duo of vitamin-enriched face base and skin long-wearing weightless foundation, SPF 15, and your choice of eight foundation shades, $69, or three easy pays of $23. Belle Beauty by Kim Gravel Lip Liner and Lipstick Duo is yours and a choice of four neutral shades, $25, or three easy pays of $8.33. Laura Geller Jelly Bomb Trio is available in your choice of a cool trio or a warm trio, $29.99. 96 or four easy pays of $7.49. From Tarte, the Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray is infused with papaya and maracuja, $23, or three easy pays of $7.67. Sea Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask is formulated with squalane, hyaluronic acid, and a blend of avocado, jojoba, and argan oils, $14, or three easy pays of $4.67. And then, but then, meanwhile, over at HSN, we have PYT Beauty. They have arrived with their philosophy of freedom from harsh chemicals. Here are some of their highlights. All over concealer stick is available in 11 medium to full covered shades, $18 with six flex pays of $3. Day to night eyeshadow palette has eight shades in shimmer and matte tones and is available in your choice of warm or cool, $32 or six flex pays of $5.33. Everyday powder blush goes on silky smooth and is yours in a head rush, a neutral pink Pinky Taupe or Hustle a Soft Rose, $22 with six flex pays of $3.67. In Andy and Cruelty Free news this week, Nomad Cosmetics is taking you back to New York, April 1977, to experience the flair and flamboyance of Studio 54. The Studio 54 collection includes the Disco Shadow Palette, four multi-chrome shades infused with caffeine to keep your color fresh all night, $19. The Disco Lighters Highlighters have a multi-chrome finish with a prismatic effect, available in two shades and also infused with caffeine for zip it times, $19 each. All items are cruelty-free, vegan, and also available in a bundle for $52. 20% of collection sales will be donated to the New York Mount Sinai Response Fund for the current events. From the original creators of the world's first taco palette, Glamlight is proud to introduce Street Taco with shades inspired by mouth-watering toppings such as guacamole, carne asada, carnitas, and more. Ten shades in all, a combination of mattes, dual chromes, and shimmers, currently on the Glamlight site for $22. The Lab Cosmetics is now taking pre-orders for two new palettes. Natural Remedies, inspired by Earth's greatest gifts, offers 42 shades in a mix of shimmers, matte, and glitters. Chemical Exposure offers a degree of danger with 42 pigmented shades in a mix of finishes. The palettes are currently available for $42 each or in a money-saving bundle for $74. Shipping date on pre-order palettes is set for May 1st. And finally, Johnny Concert wants you to meet your new BFF, Moody is their first ever Timeless Velvet Matte Lipstick infused with organic passion fruit, apricot, evening primrose, and hemp seed oils. They are vegan, cruelty-free, non-toxic, and an array of four glamorous shades for $25 each, or bundle them for $100. They're new, and they're coming for you. It's the lightning round. Sneak peeks in three, two, 
One, on their way, new liners from Beauty Bar Baby. New shadows are coming to Give Me Glow Cosmetics. An inside look at the Juicy Peach Palette coming from Clarity Cosmetics coming May 5th. Looks like Clarity's Blue Royal Palette is getting a sibling. Here's what's on the horizon for Sugar Sweet Cosmetics. A new collection is making its way to us on May 1st from Davina Cosmetics. Coming soon from Touch of Glam, monochromatic blushes. Here's a sneak of what to come from Mythology Makeup. And finally, something yummy is coming from Luxie Beauty. In this week's deals from Anastasia Beverly Hills, buy one, get one half off at their site. Some exclusions do apply, though. From Skin Store, if you watch Yay or Nay Nicole's video about her morning skincare routine, you will find a code for 25% off site-wide at skinstore.com. I'll have it linked down below. At Pat McGrath Labs website, save 20% on any order less than $150 and 25% off on orders of $150 or more. Juvia's Place has some great deals on bundles right now. You can choose from the Warrior Eye Shadow Palette Bundle, which includes the Warrior, the Warrior 2, and the Warrior 3, a $40 value for $24, or the Saharan Bundle with a Saharan Palette, two gel eyeliners, and an eyeliner brush, a $35 value for $13. At Sephora, the Natasha Denona Safari Palette or Travic Palette was $129, now they're $89 each, and it's a sale time at Alien Cosmetics. You can take 20% off your order using code ALIEN. Sale ends April 28th, and finally, how many of you knew that Crown Brush has a value center section on their site? Well, they do. For a limited time, they are taking an additional 30% off of the already discounted prices using code SHOP ONLINE at checkout. Here's some late breaking news we thought you'd want to know. Jackie Ina and Naomi Campbell have been hanging out both remotely through a live stream on Naomi's YouTube channel and on the Pat McGrath website. They both have kits with Pat McGrath currently available. Head over to see all the details and snag a 20 to 25% off discount depending on how much you spend. Beauty giant Cody recently announced that one of their Calvin Klein fragrance products, CK Everyone, has achieved a material certificate at the silver level from the Cradle to Cradle Products Innovation Institute, meaning that 100% of the chemicals in the fragrance have been found in compliance with the global nonprofit's product standard. With more and more consumers choosing products and brands based on ingredients and transparency, having the certification gives some consumers confidence that their choices are more ecologically responsible. The new James Charles project, Instant Influence, Influencer had its premiere last week. Six finalists began the show, and after a challenge in which each launched a single product using a reveal technique, one was eliminated by James, Associate Judge Norvina, and Guest Judge Paris Hilton with Chihuahua. Next week's episode will follow the same format until a winner is named. Instant Influencer will premiere on James Charles' YouTube channel every Friday until the competition is done. Have you seen it? What did you think? Did you see Philip DeFranco's review of the show? Tell us in the comments. On Friday, Tarte launched their new Hydra Sealer Concealer, said to be made up of 40% water and claims to never cake or crease because it apparently moves when your face moves. 30 shades were created, but they look to be all sold out on the Tarte site. However, there are 10 shades for sale at QVC and nothing is sold out. If you can find your shade, they're $24. Wayne Goss will soon be releasing this thing, apparently with Beautylish. What do you think it is? A complexion product? A lipstick? Oh, the possibilities. We should have details soon. House Labs has decided to put a hold on releasing their new lip shades. We're looking forward to announcing a new release date soon. And finally, poor Raw Beauty Christie has new Fendi cream products that seem to be covered in black fuzzies inside and out. Is this a case of another pressing sheet gone awry? Will Christy get out her microscope again? We'll keep you posted. Don't forget that most of the products we talked about today are on the Where to Buy page at our website, whatsupinmakeup.com. And if you like my makeup today, there's also Getting Ready With Me video over there next Sunday on What's Up In Makeup. More industry news and new products over here are lovely and talented and fabulous What's Up In Makeup official reporting team. Their faces are scrolling next to me and the What's Up In Makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. Thank you so, so much for all of your submissions this week. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to hit the like button to show your appreciation for all of the team's hard work. It also tells YouTube to share it with other people. How could I forget Tabitha B, our production manager? She puts all of this together for us so that we have a functional way to present it to you. She wrangles all of the information so that we can share it. So thank you so much, Tabitha, for all that you do this week, last week, the week before, the week before that, and for years before that. Thank you so much, Tab, for all that you do. Chat today is at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We're gonna be hanging out, talking about makeup, 
whatever else we feel like talking about. Not quite sure yet, but we're gonna figure it out. If you'd like to hang out with us live, you can join us 10 a.m. Eastern time on the channel, but if you can't, you got stuff to do, it's no problem at all. You can check it out on my channel page. If you click on videos, click on the video titled Live Chat. Thank you so, so much for watching What's Up In Makeup again this week. Your view means so, so much to me. I know you have so many choices of what you could be watching right now, and you chose What's Up In Makeup, and I could never thank you enough for supporting the show and for watching. I just really, really appreciate you. Mad, mad love to you, and I will see you in a video very, very soon.